Hello everyone and welcome back to another Dot Race video. Today we're going to be tackling the MotoGP Academy game mode. It is time for Silverstone and I'm going to show you how to get the best possible sector time in each of the sectors. So here we go then with Sector 1. Of course, it's going to be starting you from a long way back. So use that time to change your electronics and prepare yourself for the next sector. Of course, if you want to see or understand my control overlay and what buttons do what, check out in the description down below. But out of the final corner then, we need to get this one right and start to accelerate, ready to break here just before the Brembo sign on the left-hand side of your screen. Keep it in tight to the Abbey corner, then move across to the left-hand side. Try not to stop your momentum going into these corners here because you need to keep that flow for a chance of the gold. Now into the village corner, breaking really on an angle. Now downshifter first and break extremely tight to the apex of the loop to then get back onto the power. Upshift quickly up to second and then into third, secure the sector challenge. So once again, you're going to start from quite a way back here, but it's important to practice these particular sectors, especially this final bit because it is very challenging for when we come towards sector four later on. So get you the right speed coming into turn 17, aim for the apex here for the club corner but not too tight. When you've tackled that, get onto the power and straighten up the Tech 3 gas gas. Start braking before you get to the Brembo sign, then keep in tight to the apex. Once you've hit that, start to straighten the motorcycle up and then launch to the left hand side into the farm corner. Brake nice and early here before you get to that white line on the left hand side of your screen. Tight to the apex once more, get you ready to prepare to the brakes to downshift to first into the loop, prepare yourself to now accelerate into second, into third, and across the line to secure the gold. So for sector two, of course, we're going to end here, and unfortunately, the autopilot actually leaves you mid-corner. You'll see here, as we come out of the loop, it actually puts you quite wide, so I'm immediately going to want to fight the autopilot, get the bike in turning early, so you hit the apex of Aintree, and now you can charge down the long straight. Looks to the grass on the right hand side there and then that big green patch of circuit. Break there every time. Continue to break on an angle all the way into the Brooklyn apex and now move across to the Luffield corner. You can run it wider here to go for like a V-shaped line to then cut it tight back on the exit and that way you can hit the kerb here to aim for the apex once more for the woodcut corner here for the right hand side. Now onto the power to get across. Just missed out on the goal that time. So let's see Sector 2 once more, autopilot is going to put you in a perilous spot. So as we hit the rumble strip here, you now have control, quick upshift into third gear and get the bike over to the left hand side. Try and avoid that rumble strip as much as you can there on the straight because it does slow you down a significant amount. Brake at that green just before you get to the grass and then continue to brake into the left hand side. You can apply quite a lot of brake there for the Brooklyn score. Now you just got to be quite confident and brave with the press of L2. Now onto the power, we hit the apex here, hit the kerb ever so slightly and move over to the right hand side. Feather that throttle to keep the wheel spinning but not too much and across the line to secure the gold. Now for sector 3, you're going to be doing pretty much what we've just completed there out of Luffield but the autopilot is going to give it to you quite late. So midway through woodcut, now you have control, straighten the motorcycle up, look to your monster energy sign and start braking right there as you see that shadow. Position yourself either into the middle or the tight apex of that right hander for cops and you should be absolutely fine. Travel here with a lot of speed and confidence to hit that kerb there. Continue to brake quite firm into turn 11. Quick upshift to third gear and then into the left hand side for second to hit turn 12. Now as we go back onto it again out of Luffield, prepare yourself once more of course because it is going to change quickly to you as the autopilot ends. So right there it is, it's ended, straighten the motorcycle up. Monster Energy Sign, start braking there. Nice and firm on the brakes, hit that tight apex. Beautiful this time around, a little bit tighter, a little bit cleaner. Get confident with the acceleration here because you need a lot of speed to tackle it to ensure you get through this Be Maggots and Beckett sector. Now onto the right, upshift into third, back into the left, downshift to second and get her through into turn 12. So now that sector three is complete, it's probably gonna be your toughest sector. Now it's time for yet again another challenging sector in the form of Sector 4. The autopilot ends quite midway through Maggots and Beckett, so it does put you in a bit of a, a tough situation. Just prepare yourself for that. Move into the chapel corner and start to upshift. You can use the ride height device there or not, but one thing I will recommend is to use it only when the bike is straight. Use it any other time and the bike won't be straight. It's impossible then to turn and to maintain your momentum. Keep into the right hand side for Stowe, get onto the power and look for that craft sign. 
brake right there before the shadow as hard as you can with lots of rear brake and bring it in nice and tight to the apex of the veil corner. Now into the right for 17, continue with the momentum, upshift into third gear. I've actually turned in a bit too early there, so I had to use a little bit of brake just to manoeuvre the bike in the right way at the end there. So now again into maggots and beckets. Keep it in tight with the autopilot now that you've taken control. Stay into third gear, downshift to second and move over to beckets. Bit wide that, but you'll see here, so this very crucial upshift there to third gear does help you to try and avoid the wheelie going into the left hand side. It's important that you try and avoid the wheelie as much as you can in that left hand side because once you get that wheelie, it's damn near impossible to turn in properly. So now into the right hand for stow, we're going to be getting onto the power once again. Look to that craft sign, start braking just before you reach the shadow, nice and firm, but in control to the apex of Vale. Back across to the right hand side, don't be afraid of cutting that corner there. Just don't touch the green and you will be absolutely fine. Tight the apex once more and onto the power to secure the gold once again. So now it's time for the complete lap here of Silverstone. And I'm going to just try and iron out a few of the details with two laps here in Silverstone to show you those finer points that you might have missed throughout the guide in the individual sector times. So use your autopilot time wisely, choose your electronics and prepare yourself for the big run of two laps of Silverstone. So here we go then, tight to the apex once more for the club corner. Onto the power, trying to fight the wheelie of the gas gas. Break early for the Brembo corner and keep in tight to the apex. Went a little bit deep there for Abby, but that's okay. Just puts us on a bit of a tough spot now where we have to use the brake to try and manoeuvre that momentum into the farm corner. Breaking at that white line there and bringing it in tight to the village corner, giving us a chance to straighten the bike up to downshift to first to go for the tight apex yet again. Upshift into second, upshift into third, and then dive across to the left hand side to the aim tree. Now onto the power again, avoiding hitting the rumble strips there because it will slow you down and that loses you too much time for the long straight. Really aggressive on the brakes there for the Brooklyn's corner, a little bit too hard, but we managed to get the bike stopped all right. And now a little bit wider into Luffield, following that V-shaped line to swing the KTM around. Hit the kerb there on the exit and now bring it in tight for the woodcut corner. Not too tight. Don't want to bounce across the rumble strip, but keep it in tight enough. Break here at the Monster Energy sign and continue to lean in. Really tight to the apex there. A little bit of a mistake actually going into the cops corner. That might have cost us time, but still aggressive onto the power. Make sure not to touch the white line there. Run across the rumble strips for the brakes. Into turn 11, upshift to third to stop the wheelie. Downshift into second so you've got the momentum to turn into turn 12 and now tight to the apex of Beckett's. Prepare yourself for that quick upshift to third. Didn't do it quick enough there, so I actually had a bit of a wheelie coming into the chapel corner, but now under the bridge, we'll now prepare ourselves for the white lines on the left-hand side of your screen. Don't break at the first white line, don't break at the third, break at the second white line on the left-hand side of your screen to tackle the stow corner correctly. Now you're gonna say it with me here, break before the shadow of the craft corner and start pulling in. Beautifully done there for the Veil Corner, into the right-hander for turn 17. Get the bike a little bit wide there, upshift to third. This is where I didn't do it here, and that's why I struggled to maintain that speed for that final corner. So let's see this one more time, and this time we'll make sure to iron out the details that little bit more, just to ensure that we get the gold here in Silverstone. Not bad into Veil, tight to the apex for turn, uh, turn 17. Now onto the right-hand side, keep it in tight as much as you can and then go on to the power. Optional ride height device there, of course. I'm probably not going to use it from now on. I don't particularly like using it in short bursts like that, but you can use it if you want to. Ooh, big wheelie on the change direction there for farm, but we're now going to break early. So we hit that white line, able to drag the bike in, straighten up, downshift into first, go for that tight apex. Now, as you get onto the power, immediately upshift to second, immediately upshift to third, don't let the bike rev out, get onto those uh, upshifts nice and early to ensure that the bike is not spinning the rear too much. Now braking at the green there, quite firm on the brake again, still using a lot of rear brake to bring the bike in. Tight to the apex of Brooklands, onto the power, and now into the middle of the corner for Luffield. Let the bike drag round, bring it in to the right hander there, be like Alex Rins in 2019. Keep it into the right hand side, nicely done for the woodcut corner. Prepare yourself for the Monster Energy sign, start braking. Drag that bike in, that's it. Use a bit of rear brake, get, uh, rear brake. get the rear tyre moving 
into the right hand of a cops. Onto the power here, upshifting all the way up to fifth, up to sixth gear, then downshift into second gear for the right hander. Quick upshift to third gear just to stop the rear tyre from spinning too much. Downshift back to second for the momentum and go into Beckett's. Quick upshift again here for third. Look at that, beautiful. Much better compared to the previous lap. We contained our momentum and we're still charging for a possible gold here in Silverstone. Break at the second white line there, beautifully done. Keep it in tight, still trail breaking all the time into Stowe. And now for the difficult part. Prepare yourself for that craft sign. Start breaking in, nice and firm. Bring it in tight to the apex. You can really abuse the curb there. Same again to the right-hander here, onto the curb, onto the right-hand side. Keep leaning in, quick upshift to third, tight to the apex, and then clip the curb to get the bike across for the gold. And ladies and gentlemen, that is Silverstone, and that is a gold in every single sector. Now, I won't lie, that is a tough track to get gold on. It took me a couple of attempts. But I'm pleased to say that we did it and I can show you guys here today. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow for more Dr. Ace content. Ciao for now. Oh hi, didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dr. Ace content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dr. Ace video.